Welcome to Storytime Pals! Subscribe to keep the stories coming! Hi there, friends! It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you has to deal with having trouble going to sleep at night. Do you have trouble going to sleep? I know, my kids sometimes do. But this next story might be for you. This one is called Sleepy the Good Night Buddy. You ready? Here we go. Roderick hated going to bed. Each night he would think of every possible excuse to try and stay up longer. Sometimes he would ask for another story. Sometimes he would ask for a drink of water. Sometimes he would ask for a pony. <laughs> he never got a pony, but that's okay because he didn't really want one. He just wanted to stay up, even if it was just to hear all the reasons why he couldn't have a pony. And there were lots of reasons. We don't have a barn. Ponies won't use the litter box. Ponies hog the bed. Ponies watch the TV too loud. Ponies never do dishes. Ponies eat toys. Ponies borrow books and never return them. Ponies blah, 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 blah. But he would always ask for something anything just to stay up a little bit longer. Roderick's parents decided to get him a good night buddy to help him sleep. <laughs> you couldn't decide whether it looked more like a moose or more like a bear. His name is Sleepy, said his mother. He's your good night buddy, said his father. He's going to help you fall asleep. That night, Roderick's parents put Sleepy in bed with him, but Sleepy kept staring at him. Roderick decided to hide Sleepy. He tried stashing him on the bookshelf, behind the curtains, and even under his pillow. Oh, but no matter where Roderick put him, he could feel Sleepy looking at him. Finally, Roderick picked him up and tossed him into the closet. <laughs> Wait, said a quiet little voice from the darkness. Don't leave me alone in here. Uh, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. I couldn't very well talk if I weren't alive, could I? Well, why didn't you talk earlier instead of just staring at me like that? I was too scared. Of what? Of you! You were staring at me all freaky looking. Well, that's because you freaked me out. I was only staring at you all freaky looking because you were staring at me all freaky looking. See? You're doing it again! You're freaking me out! Hmm. You're supposed to be my goodnight buddy. You're supposed to help me sleep, you know. I am? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, can I please have a glass of water? What? But, but it's bedtime. I know, but I'm thirsty. And then we can go to sleep. I promise. Ah, thanks for the water. Uh, you're welcome, Sleepy. I don't think you're that freaky looking anymore. Well, that's nice. I don't think you are either. Now go to sleep. I can't. Why not? I have to pee, you know, from all the water. So go. I'm scared to go alone. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I forgot to brush my teeth. <laughs> mm. Can I have a story? That always puts me to sleep. I can't sleep with that one. Uh, well, one day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Can I have one more? Just one, please? I promise that's all I need. Uh, once upon a time, there was a witch with a very big butt. In fact, it was so big that when she... Your closet is scary. There's a witch in it with a big butt. Can you check the closet for witches? But there are no witches in the closet. Ugh, fine, yes, check for witches, sure. Hey, can I have a snack? A snack? It's the middle of the night. I know, but I'm hungry. Oh no! Now what? I have to brush my teeth again. Ugh. Oh, it's too dark in here. Click. Now it's too bright. Hmm. What? What, what? What do you mean, what, what? You know darn well, what, what? You're going to ask me for something else. What do you want now? I wasn't going to ask for anything, but now I can't sleep because you're mad at me. 
Uh, I, I'm not mad. Well, you sound mad. That sounds like you're mad. I'm not mad. Just, just tired. Oh, okay, I'm a little mad, but mostly I'm tired. Well, I can't sleep even if you're a little mad. Then I'm not mad! I don't know, that still sounds mad. <sighs> I need my blankie. Oh, you don't have a blankie. Can I have a blankie? Ah, <sighs> good night, Roderick. Oh, good night, Sleepy. Okay, I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but does this pillow seem too hard to you? It seems really hard. <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just me. Hey, do I ever wonder what it all means? I mean, are we just puppets living out some master puppeteer's plan, or... Sleepy! It's time for bed! Now go to sleep! Oh, I'm sorry, Roderick. I guess I'm just not a very good goodnight buddy. Are you kidding? You're the worst goodnight buddy ever! You're supposed to take my mind off scary things and help me sleep, but instead you're just exhausting me! Roderick? Hey, Roderick! <laughs> Good night, buddy. <laughs> the end. Wow, what a crazy fun story. All right, well, thank you again for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye!